study in your ministry, you got the data from your databases, you got the data from your questionnaire, you want to construct a study, you want to further your study and so on, you must very clear, what is your IV? What is your DV? Okay, what is my IV? What is my DV? What is my SG? SG stand for what? Study group. And then what is my SD? SD is what? Study design. So my study design will be cross-sectional study, right? Cross-sectional study. So my SD is what? Professional. What is professional I'm talking about? I'm, prof I'm talking about medical professional, I have professional and so on. What is my DV? My DV is CPR knowledge. This is example only, okay? So if you want to alter, you alter it accordingly. Depends on your suitability of your data analysis. So my IV will be demographic. Okay, usually, demographic itself is not enough. You want to add up more, right? Let's say you want to see whether the income, or not, not income, sorry. Uh, maybe you want to see whether the training or any kind of uh, certain certain thing lah that you want to see. The demographic factors is one on, only one of the factors. So, demographic factors ke, occupational factors ke, uh, and so on. So, or you can just remove these factors. So, you want to know CPR knowledge and relevant factors. Ah, relevant factors. But you must define your relevant factors. What is your relevant factors? Because I can see it's not relevant at all. Example. Okay. That is what are going to be discussed today. Eh? So, I'm going to maintain as a demographic factors. Um, and then, I got last but not least is LC. What is LC? Okay. Location. So, this is the standard idea how we want to construct a study, a scientific study. Anything with regard to your expertise. Okay. So, you must remember you have the objective, right? What is your objective? You got the general objective and what objective? Well, very good. How you know? Huh? After general is specific, how you know? Because you are so clever. Huh? So, what is my general objective? My general objective will be um, to identify uh, relationship between knowledge on CPR with the demographic factors. Example only, okay? Don't speculate my idea. This is just example. Uh, just to give you idea, you got IV, you got DV, you got this thing, you got that thing, and then you want to investigate their relationship. What is my specific objective? Perhaps I may have one or two or three specific objectives. So the first objective will be to identify the demographic characteristic uh, of the respondent. So perhaps this is the first one. Why? Because in the other day, I'm going to learn about their demographic characteristics and then to relate back to their knowledge. Second one, to compare. To compare what? To compare the knowledge between different, different what? Different demo, yes, demographic factors. And then the last but not least is actually to identify or to correlate, to identify relationship. Relationship between knowledge and selected demographic factors. Finish. So, in my study also, perhaps I got some assumptions that I want to test. Therefore, we proceed to the hypo. Hypopotamus is badai, you no? Know? Wrong. Hypo? Hypothesis, correct. Hypothesis. So, what is my hypothesis then? Did the first objective go hypothesis? Of course, the first objective did not have anything to do with the hypothesis because we do not have any inference that we want to make or we want to judge or we want to speculate. But the second and the third objective got something to do with the hypothesis, right? So, therefore, we have the first hypothesis is actually there is significant difference uh, of knowledge between Demo, demographic factors. And then, we got the another one to identify relationship. There is significant relationship between knowledge and demographic factors. Okay, this is the standard idea of what we are going to discuss today. Do you follow or do you do not follow or you cannot follow or you unfriend me already? Can you follow eh? Follow eh? Alright, very good eh? 
uh, study December 2019. So this is only the idea, ladies and gentlemen.